Okay, let's talk about uh, DNA sequencing. So, for simplicity's sake, I will uh, try to do it in one tube, but keep in mind that the Sanger method, the way I'm going to talk about, is done in a four separate tubes, right? <coughs> so, just to save time, so I'm going to do it in one tube. So, we start with a piece of DNA, and we would like to know this sequence. So, before that, we have to have a startup point, and that is a known sequence, and we design a primer to it. How do we do this? This completely separate issue, so let's not talk about it. But we have a primer already to indicate where we start. Then, in the reaction mix, as for every PCR, we add A, T, G, and C. However, A, T, G, and C come in two separate types. One are regular DNTPs, in which we have a hydroxyl group at the three prime stage, so the chain can grow, right, by prime, three prime. And the DNTPs are a fluorophore tag. They have a different colors, and they don't have the OH group on the third position. So when this gets incorporated into the chain, it's going to terminate, and the product is going to fall off. Okay? So then here's what's happening, okay? If we have on the first run, okay, we expect T to be added to the chain right here. But T has a two equal <coughs> nucleotides. One is going to be tagged with the black fluorophore and the chain termination, and the other one is regular. So if we put the tagged one, the chain will terminate, and we have a one base pair product. If, however, we, f we add the regular one, then the chain will extend until we reach the second one, in which we can add the adenine. Adenine comes again in two forms. It's either tagged with a brown or with a regular. If we add the brown one, the chain will terminate, and we have only two base pair product. If we add the regular one, the chain will extend, and now we have to go to the C, or the third base. C is red, okay? So if we incorporate the red, we have a three base pair product. If we put the regular C, the reaction will proceed until we reach the end, which in this case is G. So we have two possible solutions here. It's either G gets incorporated or the regular G, and the, chain re the, the reaction will complete, but at least we'll have some products that are tagged with G. So then we have all this, all this, put them in capillary to loop and let them go with the electrophoresis and they're going to move according to their molecular weight. So the first one to enter is this one, then the two base pairs, then the three. Hit it with a laser and the computer is going to read the fluorophore and gives you the complementary sequence. All you have to do is convert it back and you will know the sequence.